Okay guys, time to review these new X-Men teams. So, we know Phoenix provides extra health and damage to allies uh, that are X-Men. That is not so bad, that's something we can work with uh, as far as attacking goes. Uh, but something I made a mistake of the other night when I was looking at this, um, I didn't realize this, but I totally overlooked it, but Psylocke has resistance to specifically disrupted. Um, so when I was trying to hit her with the Magneto special, it's never going to land because she, at level 4, which mine isn't quite yet because I still need to spend some money on her, um, she gets 1,000% a, a resistance against Disrupted specifically. Uh, another thing to note is on her level 5, she spawns with Evade and Counter, which is also pretty annoying um, because, well, it just makes her harder to hit. Uh, but that's good to know. It's just for her, though. And then Cyclops, or not Cyclops, uh, Colossus has significant um, boost to resistance as well, but it's only when he has defense up. So we want to keep that in mind too. So if his defense up runs out, then basically we can, uh, you know, kill him then or focus him down last or something. So uh, on spawn, Phoenix is now getting defense up for two turns, and while charged, when attacked, attack the enemy for 100% damage. And that's his counter thing, and it's just, oh man, it can cascade after a while. And then he also, of course, applies offense down on his uh, basic, and at level 7 it goes for two turns. I mean, that's pretty solid. Um, Let's see. And when he taunts a Phoenix and Alley, he gets two turns. Um, so we got to work around a lot of this stuff. Um, trying to figure out the best way to attack these guys in Arena. Uh, even at a low level, this 217k team shouldn't be so hard to kill. But oh my god, it is miserable. So um, I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to try Minerva. Because uh, she has pretty good synergy with other characters. And why not? Vision's really good too. I like his ability block, his offense down, and his uh, buff clearing. And then Magneto still, um, just because, well, he's really good. Um, yeah, we'll give this a shot and see if we can blind the Ultron before he uses his ult, uh, which would be pretty nice, or maybe disrupt him so he doesn't get any energy out of using it. So I think it depends on how the turn order goes and if. Magneto gets a crit, or if we get a crit against us, so Magneto would go uh, faster than everybody. All right, so first things first, we want to hide everybody with Phoenix for two turns, and then ability block their Phoenix. And unfortunately, it did not land on Colossus because he has high resistance from his defense up. And uh, let's see, so we can't target the Ultron, but what we can do, because let's see. I guess Psylocke is still going to go... Wait, he has Storm, he has Psylocke. Yeah, Psylocke's about to go. So any buffs I put down are just going to uh, basically get removed by Psylocke and thrown back on whoever she targets. Let's try this. Let's see if we can kill one of these dudes first before he gets the buff. With that slow on him, it might actually... Yeah, it might be a possibility. Let's try this. The offense up. Ah, and then we don't need to do the regen right now. Let's just try it, see if we can kill him. Nice. So that prevents the Ultron offense up at least. So that's one less thing. But he has counter, he has stealth, he gets so many buffs from this. Uh, when he does his attack, it's pretty crazy. And he gets to extend everything. So um, we could kill Phoenix and try to get her down initially. I don't know if that's the play to make. Uh, just because Ultron's going to ex get to extend his buffs. Um, but my Phoenix is pretty <laughs> messed up right now. So let's just give it a shot and see what happens. This is going to suck because she's going to come back and wipe everybody's stuff on her first turn. Unless we can get her down. But there's my Phoenix with her stuff. And we got Minerva to do her 15% damage, which is nice. And we'll see if we can get... Ooh, we need to get that taunt off of him. We need to kill that Phoenix, though. Yeah, Cyclops is a real pain in the ass to deal with. Um, let's see. Could steal it. That's not going to kill her. Let's see if we can... Mm, ooh, her ult's not ready, though. Yeah, let's just do this and apply regeneration and stuff. 
And oh, I got a slow Cyclops. That's not what I want to do. Uh, let's see if we get Blinder. <laughs> I don't think that's going to do anything, though. But that was a pretty big hit for Magneto to kill that Psylocke. Almost got the Ultron. Um, let's uh, let's call in more minions. Why not? That might help. I don't know how this is going to go. But that Ultron's about to ult. Oh, no, he didn't have his ult ready. Nice. All right, well, we still got Minerva up. She can clearly uh, evade. So he's going to get more counter. Let's see if we can get an offense down on her. Nope. Uh, I guess he can heal up a little. <laughs> this is going to hurt. Woo! All right. Oh, there's nobody to res yet because nobody died that matters. Uh, let's see if we can hit him for some damage. There's my Phoenix ult now. That should kill Air Phoenix. That helps. And it clears all the buffs off of him, which is what really matters. Um, let's see if we can clear out Ultron. Oh, damn. That's not good. Now, let's see. Can kill Colossus. Can kill a minion. It's probably worth it to just kill Colossus now. Just get rid of him. And then uh, hope that we can clear out these minions with vision. Ooh, all right. Can I res her? I'm just going to try it for the fun of it. Nope. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Hit the Ultron. Let's kill a Fabricator and then knock out this Ultron, and that's finally a win, but man, this is such a crapshoot of a fight, honestly, every time. You just have no idea what's going to happen. It all comes down to, like, targeting and resistances, and it is a pain in the ass. Oh my god, I can't wait to get my Colossus and Psylocke up, because I don't know how else you, you beat these guys, like, consistently, at least. Um... Like, this team doesn't seem so bad. It's Colossus that makes Phoenix so annoying because of that taunt. It's it's just like having a shield security kind of guy, um, but for X-Men. So, that was that. Um, one technique I've been playing with, though, is taking in another Brotherhood, like a um, Pyro. And, hmm, come on, camera. I don't know why it's so blurry. Sorry. Well, anyway, <laughs> it's not a manual uh, focus. It is supposed to be automatic, and it's supposed to be smart. But that's Microsoft for you. Anyway, I guess we can open some shit. Why not? It is a victory, after all. Oh, look at that. Two-star Killmonger. Just what everybody is looking for. Oh, hey, there's purple. Five-star Spider-Man. All right. <laughs> Why not? Who doesn't like the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? He is a good dude, right? Alrighty, he goes up from 45k to 51. Look at that, 8,000, no, 9,000 more health. Damn, Spider-Man. Wow, good job, Spidey. I actually have the stuff to take him to tier 13 if I wanted to, but I don't. Anyway, let's open up some more garbage. What is this? Junk. Who would have thought a basic orb would have junk in it? Oh yeah, I got some gold orbs. Let's go for a three million drop, huh? Come on, big money, big money, big money. Nope. Big money. And there's purple. 350k is not bad. That's yeah, alright for three orbs so far. I can live with that. I kind of have to. I don't really have a choice. Ooh, another purple drop. 150k. Nice. Need more money though. I gotta upgrade my X Men's. I need more money. Not that purple I wanted in the middle. <laughs> Come on, money! I want money! Ah. Do I still have more? Wow. Seems like a lot. There was another gold offer today for, I think it was like 10 orbs for like $4 or something. So 11 orbs, 1.9 million. Eh, not bad. I'll take it. I'll get me Colossus and Psylocke up there a bit. Those are my next projects. Let's open some Heat Wave Orbs. As we finish that event. Look at all those Nobu shards. So useless. Give me Carnage, damn it. Carnage. Not, that, not on the sides. Any Carnage in the middle. Oh, Cyclops is good too. I like him. 
Oh man, look at that. Got so far to go with him. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Let's do milestone orbs. Still sitting on my my uh, mega orbs for when uh, Minerva gets added. Hopefully it'll be next couple of days. I know we're all waiting with bated breath. Uh, oh, hey, that's nice. Five uh, ABCs. Damn. That's pretty good. And look at these training orb fragments. I can go open a training orb now. How cool is that? Oh, and a premium orb, too. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, it's a blue. And it's Luke Cage. Oh, Luke Cage. Everybody's favorite guy that grew up on the streets. Man, I'll never forget that. Playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance on PlayStation with one of my friends long ago. Um, we unlocked Luke Cage and neither one of us had any clue who that was. And we were both like, who the hell is Luke Cage? So we went to like the ship's like lobby thing. And, uh, Iron Fist. And, uh... We read like the lore on each of the characters. We were looking up their character cards, so we looked up Luke Cage, and we were just like, "Who is this guy?" Like, like this is years, years ago. We didn't, we didn't get to Google anything or whatever. I think it's like early, early 2000s. But anyway, um, <laughs> I'll never forget. It didn't say that he had like. It, or it said that he had like superpowers. He was like super strong, and um, he was like, yeah, his like skin was really strong and all this stuff or whatever. And he, he like had a chain and his whole thing was he grew up on the streets and that was why he was a super band, like super powerful or something. It's because he had to deal with the streets of New York or whatever, wherever he's from, New Jersey, I don't know, Bronx. He seems like a Bronx kind of guy. I don't know. But anyways, um, it was really funny. We were just laughing like, like that was, that was the description. It wasn't like, oh, you know, he got some, he got mutated or he got like you know irradiated or something like that and got like superpowers he just grew up on the streets <laughs> it's just like why would you make that like an origin for a superhero it's like he doesn't even get bit by a radioactive like you know spider or something like i mean that kind of makes sense at least i don't know anyway um yeah so these teams with phoenix are trouble uh, I would highly recommend you upgrade your Phoenix as fast as you can. I would also recommend that you upgrade her alt and passive as soon as you can. And then if you have the stuff to spare, her uh, special in summon mode is actually pretty good too because you're going to get 20% health from all the enemies. Um, so stacking that with like Minerva's ult, there's, that would be 35% just taken right off the top of everybody. And that's pretty awesome. That's a lot of damage. Um, the other cool thing is this, you know, this will land. It's not going to be, you know, affected by, like, defense up or anything. Because um, it's not damage. It's it's just seen as drain. And so, you know, defense up, armor, none of that stuff comes into play. So if you're fighting tanky guys like a Cyclops or... or ah, keep calling them Cyclops. It's like Colossus. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty much worth it uh on this one um it's just extra damage for her basic so i think you can leave her basic out unless you just have like mountains and mountains of oranges and you really want to you know get her all the way up uh i'm still working on her gear she's only tier 11 right now but i have all the mutant gear to get her to everything but her uniques uh on tier 13 so i plan on taking her that far at least um, and then I gotta get a million of these, these gene splice things and cytoplasm. So I need like 10 cytoplasm here. Oh my God. That's a lot. <laughs> and then 15 of these splice gene things. Oh my God. Oh, arena star has them, huh? Oh, it's the stupid orb. Yeah. No, whatever. Anyway, it's going to be a little while until I get her to tier 12, and then I'm hoping she has a lot of orange gear at tier 12 instead of purple, because I don't have any purple, and i got to get a bunch more for uh, Cyclops, and, or no, Colossus, and uh, Psylocke. And then, you know, Cyclops is supposed to be coming eventually. Don't know when. Um, but he looked pretty awesome from his kit, uh, so I would expect him to be pretty useful in this team as well you may end up where you just have four x-men and ultron and that's it because honestly like i don't think it's really good to run a tank with her um like for instance my defense right now which has been beaten plenty <laughs> just something to be different um 
threw in some other stuff. But uh, War Machine, and actually I could probably just throw in Vision instead of Magneto. Why not? We'll, uh, we'll give War Machine a little bit more uh, attack power on his ult, I guess. Um, but yeah, like, and I, I don't... I don't even know, like, to run for defense. But Phoenix just basically makes everybody go invisible for two turns on turn one, and then you hope she dies. Uh, but unfortunately, the Ultron minions kind of get in the way of that a little bit. And so uh, you don't want to tank taunting out of his stealth in order to prevent her from taking damage as well, because it gives them another target. Um, so there's, there's just, I don't know, there's so many different ways to go with this. I figured Captain Marvel might be pretty good with her, especially if you just stealth her. <laughs> after uh turn one so that would be pretty cool she's gonna regenerate her health herself maybe minerva would be good too i don't, I don't know man there's just so many different ways you can go with this i i just it's funny how this has completely opened up everything and uh i've i have no idea <laughs> what to do anymore it's just it's all over the place if you could build the x-men though phoenix colossus Psylocke, those are the three key ingredients to an awesome arena defense and offense right now. Um, throw in your Ultron, of course, and then whatever your next favorite character is that you have high. I think you're good. That's about it. So, no stream tonight. Just doing a quick short uh, video on how to fight Phoenix a little bit. Um, oh, I guess I could wait 50 seconds and do one more. Why not? Here, we'll go do one Blitz match since I'm not even done with mine anyway. Come on, quickly. Uh, okay, we'll do Fury versus whoever this team is. <laughs> we'll kill them very quickly, because it's Fury. We all know he does a lot of damage. <clears throat> Alright, let's uh, focus the... Crossbones down. Actually, let's give him offense down so that hopefully he misses his defense downs. Just blast them all. Let's see if we can get this dude down. Oh, almost. Resist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Blast that dude. Slow her. Share these buffs. Let's slow him. Right? Nope. Oh, almost got him now. Alright, well, that should kill her. Slow him. Stun him. Whack him again. And boom. Easy kills. Oh, man. Fury team is actually a lot of fun in Blitz. I kind of like taking them against the random teams and just seeing how they do. Like, oh, Fury versus Fury. Oh, there's no Fury on this team. Damn it. Fury vs. Fury is always an entertaining battle for me in Blitz. If I have like enough time to do it, like you can win, but it's uh, it's definitely difficult. All right, let's fight this team. I just want to check it out, see how it is, because I, I don't know. I haven't fought this one in particular. So that's a big Crossbones, <laughs> big Captain Marvel, big Minerva. Look at that, five reds. Oof. Then we got Phoenix, we got Ultron. Um... That looks pretty tough. Um, the other thing that we're gonna have to worry about is, uh, geez, yeah. Oh man. All right, let's uh, let's try this. I was doing this before. Yeah, I want to put Phoenix on the inside instead, so that she can take some damage. Juggernaut here, and then we're gonna throw uh, Magneto in the middle, and I think we can keep Minerva up. I think she'll be fine over here, but. Um, I want to kill that crossbones, I think, early on. So I'm going to try something like this. And just to also demonstrate, um, as long as you take two Brotherhood, Magneto will go first. Or, well, one Brotherhood plus Magneto, and two total. Uh, he does go first before Phoenix and all them. However, uh, let's see. You got to choose who you want to kill here. So for me, I think it's Minerva, obviously. So we put Disrupt on her, and there goes Captain Marvel. 70k hit plus the AoE. Shit. That hurts. Um, she's also slowed, which helps a little bit. Um, so from here, we can do this and hide everybody. And do a little more damage to her. 
There it goes. Okay, so you saw that. Phoenix stealths, uh, stealths everybody and then steals debuffs. So this is really important. And this is everything I've seen. This is how it works. So Magneto is actually still very relevant on offense. That means you get to choose one character that will not have stealth and then focus them down. Now, I don't want to waste her ult right now because it's kind of early. Um, but it does give us time to target and kill one of their characters. Oh, yeah, I forgot he was going to taunt. <laughs> Oops. All right, well, um, that happened, and then we're, go we're going to deal with it. We're going to kill him with our Ultron because Ultron is amazing. Ooh, they hit my Ultron. Motherfuckers. All right, let's taunt out of this. Phoenix will also taunt whenever you have a taunt. Ooh, there goes my Ultron down. Shit. And then there's the heal from... <laughs> oh god, alright, let's just do this, we gotta heal up, make sure people stay alive maybe for a little bit, let's see if we can whack him down, there we go, and then, oh man, uh, let's blind her so that she misses with her ult, and clear all those little minions because of the defense down, and then their phoenix is about to go, ah, oh, it didn't kill her, but yeah, she's gonna heal a little bit, that sucks, and then there's more minions to deal with, fuck you. All right, so that was her special. Her next turn is going to be her ult. We got to slow her or kill her before she reses crossbones, which would be very bad. Um, we need to kill Phoenix though. I don't think she's, a, or I think she's more of an important target than Ultron actually, which is crazy to say, but I think it's true. All right, this sucks. And then there's a Captain Marvel. Don't really have to worry about her too much right now. Um, let's just focus down this chick if we can. Maybe kill a minion. Oh, almost got the other one. Ow. That's fine. Um, can either call in minions or hit her. I think I'm going to call minions because I think their buffs or speed buffs are going to get me an attack before. Um, let's see if we can clear that offense up. Yes! Alright, so this should get me... Let's clear another one see if we can kill her. There we go. Alright. Yeah, so it's just all about control here. Let's slow this Ultron down, because my Ultron's lost his life. Ooh, perfect. Let's clear all of those buffs, finally. All right, let's clear this Ultron out. Oh, actually, here, let's call him Marvel. Or Captain Marvel, whatever your name is. All right, so that wasn't too bad. I think, uh, I think that team could be more annoying. Um... It's just, I, I think I was able to get to that Minerva early, and I think that was what really made the difference. Because had she revived that Crossbones, that and then he went off, that would have hurt pretty bad. But also Crossbones with offense up from the Ultron stuff is bad too. I, but you see also, um, the problem with having a Taunter on your side on defense is that it pulls them out of stealth, and it gives them another target to attack. Um, so for right now, on my defense, I have no tanks because I don't want anyone um, I don't want anyone targeting somebody other than Phoenix I need Phoenix to die I want them to focus Phoenix while my other characters just wreak havoc on them um, but right there I also didn't really care too much for how um, Captain Marvel performed to be honest but I think with an extra charge from War Machine she might do a little better and then um, War Machine's ult uh, should help clear the board as well. And if he happens to get the offense up from uh, Ultron, and, well, yeah, if he does, that's that's going to be pretty significant too. So on his second turn, he'll do a lot of damage. Um, I got to check my health on these characters, actually, real quick. Because that's my other concern, is I was doing this the other night, and uh, War Machine, yeah, he's only 103k health, which is really low for a 6 red star character. I really need to get him to seven stars, but I'm waiting for this Minerva orb chain, thing to drop, and I'm going to pull all my Megas, and I'm guaranteed to get 50 more machine shards and 45 Mega orbs. So I'm not going to waste any raid credits on them right now. I just know it's there. I know it's coming. I know it's going to happen. But uh, that's that's what I'm doing is just, uh, you know, waiting for that. But in any case, uh, claim my, my goodies. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. That's uh, fighting some Phoenix. She is a pain in the ass, I will tell you, tell you that. But it's a good one because it changes up the meta. It makes people think. Uh, it really puts you on your toes every arena match. Like, 
those two were two completely different teams and they were both hard um it's been a while since i've had to work really hard at arena matches uh, before it was just pretty much okay i get in front of their ultron by slowing him down a little bit and that's game <laughs> it's like my ultron goes faster than your ultron so i win it's not like that anymore so uh that's kind of good that's that's what we want in the game we want some variety so in any case, uh, that's where we're at right now. So if you got some ideas on how to beat the Phoenix teams, let me know. Uh, for right now, I think it's uh, sheesh, it's just kind of make it up as you go right now and just play to your strengths. So do what you can. That's uh, that's about it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm going to go bed. See you all later.